hello friends welcome to our channel and in this video we have to learn about the gravitational field intensity as you can see on the screen so this gravitational field intensity is also known as simply gravitational intensity it can also be written as gravitational intensity only right gravitational intensity or we can only see the intensity of gravitational field or intensity of gravitational field so in these are what only the two three different names we can uh, say about this particular uh, concept so what actually it is the gravitational field is different in the last video we have seen about the gravitational field so we know that the gravitational field is nothing but what it is simply this gravitational field is nothing but the region around that particular Bo body or around that particular mass so region in which other body feels the force of attraction that is called gravitational field but now what is intensity of gravitational field that's what we have to see so for that uh, first of all we will see uh, let us take two different bodies one is of mass capital m and other is of cap uh, mass small m uh, at the two different point a and b and the separation between those two point is r okay so here uh, uh, this r is a separation and that is also required for the gravitational force and that also decides the uh, what we can say the magnitude of gravitational force or again the intensity of gravitational field also or gravity intensity of gravity we can write so the gravitational force of attraction between these two bodies we know that according to newton's law of gravitation it is simply the force gravitational force is nothing but g times first mass into second mass divided by the square of separation between them so the first mass is capital m and the second mass whatever we have considered at the point b that is small m and yes the separation between them is r so that is what our uh, newton's law simply f is equal to g m m divided by r square okay right or uh, we will just rewrite this as uh, I will bring this small m to this side. So, we can write it as f by m is equal to g m by r square, right? Means just small m, uh, it was in a multiplication on the right hand side. If we take to the uh, left hand side, it will go to the uh, denominator or it, it will go in the uh, division. So, it is f by m is equal to g m divided by r square. Now, this is f by m actually. What is this? This is force per unit mass yes or no what is that f by m f is gravitational force moreover the gravitational force per unit mass this is what this gives the force of attraction per unit mass at a distance r at a distance r and that is only known as the intensity of gravitational field right so the force of attraction moreover gravitational force of attraction per unit mass yes in the denominator we have mass so if we consider it as one so it is per unit mass so gravitational force that means here simply we have written gm by r square that means here what we have considered m is equal to one if unit mass i am talking about so here so that the gravitational force per unit mass that is nothing but gm by r square and this is what the intensity of gravitational field or simply the gravitational intensity and it is denoted by capital e the intensity of gravitational field is denoted by capital E and therefore we can write it as E is equal to F by M. So yes, therefore it gives E is equal to F by M and that is equal to Gm by R square. This equation 3 is what the intensity of gravitational field or gravitational intensity, right? right. Now this uh, intensity this intensity of gravitational force at a given point is nothing but simply the force per unit mass at that point remember this the intensity of gravitational field uh, gravitational field is a region hmm? gravitational field is a region right it is a, it is a space part of the space it is a region we can say but when we are talking about the intensity intensity of gravitational field intensity of gravitational field then we must know at what point we have to find it 
at what point we have to find it at which point we have to find it that means this gravitational uh, intensity is a point phenomenon not the space phenomenon we can write so when we are talking about the intensity then we should must know at what point or at which point first of all we have to find this intensity of gravitational field and then then if i know at this point in this gravitational field now let us consider this is the gravitational field yes this is the area of gravitational field or region of gravitational field and at this point we have to find the intensity of gravitational field that is e so that point so at that point how can we define the intensity of gravitational field it is simply force per unit mass at that point only force per unit mass at that point and that is what we know is the intensity of gravitational field it is simply force per unit mass at that point that is also important right now uh, let us talk about its unit since it is simply the force per unit mass so the force is measured in newton and mass is measured in kilogram in si unit or in cgs unit also we can write it as dyne per gram we know newton in mks in cgs the force is measured in dyne and mass is measured in gram so dyne per gram so these are all two different units for the intensity of gravitational field or it is also simply known as gravitational intensity simply gravitational intensity gravitational intensity right it is denoted by e so yes uh, this is what uh, so uh, what we have to keep in mind gravitational force is different gravitational field is different right gravitational force gravitational force this is different thing right then gravitational field we have seen in the last video gravitational field is different right and gravitational intensity is different intensity is also different right so all these things are different things not the same gravitational force we know this is actually uh, the force exerted by one of the mass on the other mass or we can say force uh, uh, what we can say feels due to the mass of that body and uh, other bodies can also feel which are having some masses so here it requires the mass to occur the gravitational force and it is what we can say uh, it is a vector quantity now gravitational field gravitational field here it is it is what the space it is a region or space around that particular mass in which other mass also feels the force of attraction gravitational force of attraction moreover it is attractive force right attractive force so in the space if one body is situated at a point and other body is feeling some attractive force due to this body then in that region we can say the it is the gravitational field of one of the body that particular body and now the gravitational intensity so the it is what it is point phenomena we can say it is a point within the space or it is a point within uh, the gravitational field so at this point at this point we just have to find uh, we just have to find the gravitational force first of all and divide that gravitational force by this mass and this is what force per unit mass and that will be the intensity of gravitational field right or gravitational intensity Yes, friends. Uh, this is what the simple concept: intensity of gravitational field or gravitational intensity. I hope you got the points. If you have any doubt, please post in the comment box. Or if you feel this is a value addition to your knowledge, uh, if you feel uh, you got something from this particular small video, uh, then like this video, right? And for more such videos, subscribe to our, our channel. And press the bell icon also so that you will get the notifications of our next videos and yes finally share with your friends which are interested to learn the physics right so yes friends we will meet in the next video very soon till then take care and keep learning thank you thank you so much for watching this video